Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi. We're going to jump right into Lightroom by first getting started on the preferences and kind of setting up our, our Lightroom workspace. Now, for a lot of you, you might think that, hey, I'm going to skip this section. Preferences isn't that big of a deal. I would strongly recommend against it. Um, learning the preferences is not only going to help you to be able to kind of know the features of Lightroom, it's going to help you to run it more efficiently and more effectively. So uh, it's a pretty key area that you want to learn. Uh, so let's jump right in. We're going to jump into the edit menu. And uh, one thing I want to just quickly point out is that You'll notice that when we pull down any of these menus, all, most of the commands is going to have the, the hotkeys next to them. This makes learning hotkeys in Lightroom very, very easy as well as really effective because uh, you can quickly navigate to wherever you want to go by just using simple keyboard commands. So we're going to go to the edit menu, pull down to the preferences. You can hit control plus if you like. And it brings up a preferences dialog and we notice first that the preferences dialog has five different tabs. We're going to start with the general first. So the first thing you notice is language. That's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to set your language here. Um, it's going to automatically default to English. So if you don't speak English, you're going to pick what you want here. Uh, the next thing is showing splash screen during the startup process. What that basically means is when you first open up Lightroom, it's actually going to show the splash, the Lightroom splash. Uh, I like to actually keep this defaulted on. If you turn it off, basically it's not going to show anything. And the problem that I, I, I feel with that is when I double click the Lightroom icon, Unless the splash comes up, I don't necessarily know if Lightroom is loading. Uh, so I like to see Lightroom loading and, and know that actually I don't need to keep clicking on anything. So I'd say keep it on. Um, automatically check for updates is also another big feature that you probably want to keep on. Uh, reason why is Adobe is constantly not only releasing updates for Lightroom to help the efficiency and, and also to kind of just the stability of the program, they're also constantly updating Lightroom for new RAW file formats that as new cameras come out, they typically will have new types of file ty uh, file formats that aren't necessarily supported by your version of Lightroom. So keeping this checked and automatically checking for updates will make sure that you get those kind of new, the new support for the new file formats right as they come out. So yeah, keep that checked. Um, and the next option we're going to go to is the default catalog. This is basically the, the first catalog Lightroom is going to open up when it when you first open Lightroom. So I find that the most useful is just to open the most recent catalog simply because that's what I've been working on most recently. It's probably the catalog that I need to use. Uh, you can also have it prompt you when you're starting Lightroom. So it'll actually ask you which one you want to open or you can select specific catalogs that you want. So say one month you're working on one catalog only, you might select just that catalog. But also if you're working on one catalog only, loading most recent catalog would do the same thing for you. So, all right, so you can kind of pick there. Um, going to the import options, we have a few options here that are pretty crucial. The first one is show import dialog when a memory card is detected. This defaults to on actually when you first install, install Lightroom. I would s click it off. The reason why is basically, Anytime you plug in any type of media with images on it, it's going to automatically open up Lightroom and then open the the import dialog box, and that can be extremely annoying when you're just you know plugging in a USB drive or just plugging in a, a hard drive and you don't want to open up Lightroom. It just stops everything you're doing and opens up Lightroom. So I prefer to have that unchecked. Uh, the next one's not super important. It's it's ignore camera generated folder names when naming folders. Basically, it's going to it's going to ignore the folders that your camera is creating. Um, you can keep it on or off. The thing is we're going to be doing with the workflow that I'm going to show you, we're going to be kind of doing our own folder naming and stuff like that, so that's not too big of a deal there. Um, this next import option is pretty big. Treat JPEG files next to RAW files as separate photos. Now what this means is if you're shooting JPEG plus RAW, um, or RAW plus JPEG, whatever, uh, when you import it into Lightroom, unless you have this selected, it's going to treat those JPEG files as sidecars to the RAW files, which means that there, it's not going to load those JPEG files. It's just going to load the RAW, and it'll say in Lightroom, RAW plus JPEG. But you won't actually see two files. So if you want Lightroom to load both the RAW and the JPEG file, then you need to have this option selected. If you don't want Lightroom to load both files, then just leave it unselected, which I believe is the default. Completion sounds is our next option, and while it kind of sounds silly, they're actually quite useful. Uh, if you're importing a lot of images in Lightroom, you might not want to sit at your computer while the entire thing's being done. And likewise, if you're exporting, you may not want to sit there while it's, it's, it's working on those exports. So setting completion sounds to any one of these sounds is going to basically notify you as soon as Lightroom has either finished importing photos or it's finished exporting photos. So I like to have kind of like select the asterisk sound for the importing. 
um, we'll select a exclamation sound for exporting. Whatever you want. You can also configure the system sounds here um, so you can kind of play different sounds. But it's kind of useful so you don't have to kind of be at the computer. You can know what's happening in Lightroom. Okay, this next one is going to reset all warning dialogues. Pretty self-explanatory. Any warning dialogues that Lightroom is popping up, this will just reset them all. So if I click it now, nothing really happens. Um, the next option is our catalog settings. And we're actually going to cover the catalog settings in a, in a different section. So we'll get to that soon. All right, so let's move on to the presets.